Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my Robin Hood portfolio. As always, hope you guys had an awesome, awesome day. Very, very good day. Overall, all three markets in the green today. S&P 500 up 0.57%, NASDAQ up 0.88%. The Dow 30 was up almost 61 points, 0.30%. You can see my portfolio here up top. Uh, I have my overall performance up. A lot of you guys have been asking for this, so I thought I'd go ahead and show you uh, how I've done anyway since opening this portfolio June 30th. So I'm up $2,920.35, representing 9.42% of my overall portfolio. I'm sitting just under $33,942 overall with the portfolio. You can see here it's been a little bit volatile. Uh, started off okay, had a little bit of a dip, and then since... Uh, Essentially, about a month ago or so, there's been a very, very strong market, post-election market. And as you can see, they're up almost 10% overall for my portfolio, which uh, isn't too bad. Definitely beats the S&P 500 over that period of time and uh, really beats the S&P 500 for the entire year, actually, uh, even though I've only had my portfolio open since June 30th. As I scroll through my portfolio, you can see here another very, very good day overall for the markets. Pretty much... A market-wide uptick, a lot of uh, con uh, consumer confidence moving into the new year here. Uh, you can see a lot of my stocks here up uh, almost 1% today. Um, you can see Portola there, another very, very good day today, up 8.19%. So over the last month, you can see that nice little uptick here. One of its breakthrough drugs was approved by the FDA. It still has another one in the pipeline, so... I definitely think this could be uh, hitting territory where it was back in August, September, or November of 2015, up in the $50 range or so. So I'm going to be holding on that long term. Not going to be buying any more of that uh, stock, but definitely holding the stock I do have. I have a large share, again, uh, 51 shares or so, uh, $1,259. So that's been, for, been performing very, very well for me. But overall, you can see here, Throughout the uh, different market sectors that I have been invested in, it's been an uptick. Another strong performer for me has been Ford here, up 1320. So another very good day today. Um, I have a very large position, as you can see there, 1176 shares, representing $15,523.20. So that's a very large chunk of my portfolio, uh, a little bit under 45% uh, or so of the overall portfolio. Um, as I continue scrolling down, you can see here another uh, very good uh, sector has been consumer discretionary. Uh, throughout the sector, there has been uh, 1 to 2% uh, gains over the last week or so. So very, very happy. Uh, one market sector here that you can see hasn't performed too well has been technology as well as my telecom stocks there. T, at and VZ, Verizon, both in the red today. Energy stocks as well did not perform well. X O M X com or uh, Exxon, excuse me, not XCOM, Exxon. Uh, it's been okay performer over the last uh, month or so, three months as well. But uh, energy has not been performing well of late. I have a couple of re real estate investment trusts there as well in the green, and then uh, bottom of my portfolio I have some closed end funds that have uh, surprisingly been doing very well for me. I figured these would be a little bit more of a speculative play, risky, but uh, they've been, been, been performing well overall. Uh, GOF here, a Gutenheim fund, it's in the red today, but it's been performing very, very well uh, over the last three months and one year. So I've been very, very happy with that fund. And as a closed-in fund, it has a very good dividend yield, 11.1%, which I kind of don't uh, recommend getting invested in these uh, with a lot of capital, but they're kind of fun to do a play around with. This one has, like I said, been, been performing very, very well for me, so I've been very, very happy with this particular stock. So yeah, just kind of wanted to do a quick uh, review of my portfolio here. Um, of note, I did want to